Worship team, thank you so much. I literally think it's the sound of heaven. You are so blessed to be in this church. I don't remember last time I enjoyed worship so much in my life. I lead worship a lot of times. But there's something about just being able to come and enjoy. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about anything, you just swim in the presence of God. Worship team, thank you so much. Thank thank so much. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> Amen. Yes, you're very blessed to be in this church. Um, good. Uh, I haven't had to preach with a translator. So this is my first time. So be patient with me. This might take a couple of hours. I'm kidding. <laughs> first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to my state, Alaska. I'm amazed by the fact that our, how the bridges were gapped between that country and I call state of Alaska as a country because it's separate. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a state. Yes, I don't know if America Yeah, in Alaska, we say lower 48, meaning 48 states separately. We're like a huge country pretty much. The size of Alaska is actually one third of the United States. But we are praying for Armenia. Our hearts are with you. It's amazing what God has done. Through this amazing bridge right here, Pastor Artur. <laughs> Thank you. I want to introduce my family real quick. Um, some of the photos will pop up. First of all, if you can show that photo of my three beautiful children. I think they were in the order first. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very blessed. And I want to show a picture of my beautiful wife. Yeah, she's my manager. manager. I'm just kidding. I don't have a manager. But she really is, fulfills all the roles. I'm very blessed to have her in my life. All right. And then there's uh, going to be uh, probably another photo of my child, my youngest one. There's one more photo. There it is. Okay, that's my baby girl. Oh. Mika. Okay. Mika. Um, she's just an angel. We didn't expect a baby, but she shows up as a surprise, and all she does is just bring joy. And of course, I want to show a picture of my family, which you guys probably saw already yesterday. We have grew so much more since that time. Because <laughs> now my nephews and nieces are getting married. And they're having kids. I think it's at this point like plus eight people a year. <laughs> and the other nephews and nieces are getting married. I'm just very blessed to be born in this to, into this family. And one of the greatest blessings in my life, some of you already got to hear him yesterday. Some of you already got to hear him yesterday. My father, Ivan Fanov. He's my friend and my mentor. And I'm the youngest of nine children. So I'm blessed that he was able to serve that golden generation yesterday. 
want to really lightly touch on the importance of that. We must cherish our older generation. They're not, a lot, they're not around here for too much longer. Use every opportunity to get to suck information out of them. To take that wisdom from them. There's so much in that. And another huge benefit. Nowadays, people do anything possible to try to have a longer life. Diets, fitness, whatever. Dieta, fitness, God already put it in the scripture. You want a long life? Honor your parents. So I want to continue to encourage you to do that. Pastor Gagi, may the Lord continue to bless you. In your ministry, amen. Hallelujah. And one of my prayers that I pray is just like, Lord, keep my dad around for as long as possible. And something in my spirit tells me this isn't my last time with my dad ministering overseas. His love for people and his sincerity is what helped him grow this kind of a big family that I happen to be part of. And the Lord has also blessed me with uh, another father figure in my life. Uh, Pastor Mark Campbell in Alaska. He spoke to me when I was nine years old. This is the church where I'm pastoring right now. And the church is growing. I'm very blessed to be pastor of that church now. And then the Lord gave me another gift. God knew that one father wasn't enough, so he gave me after Pastor Mark, he gave me a third father. Pastor <laughs> God knew I needed a third one. <laughs> you know, he went over there for a grand opening of the church building. Not this church. Where my father uh, goes to. But when he came there, I think he came there to deliver a message for me. Three years in a row, I was crying out to God about all sorts of things that I'm not qualified to be a pastor. But God reassured me again. He delivered a message through Pastor Artur. Papa Artur Jan. Okay, so here we go. We're getting to it. Aha, yes, Okay. Our flight to, uh, to Armenia was very unique. When we already got into the plane in Dohan, Qatar, there was a girl that was sitting in the middle seat. Her name was Manush. And immediately, Dad was like, hey, why don't we give her a seat to the window? And she opened up. Who would have thought for offering a better seat? <laughs> and she, we knew that she was going to listen to us the whole flight now. <laughs> so dad was eating, uh, I was eating first. Yes, Dad was ministering. <laughs> Then I finished eating. Dad began eating. I, can, I took over. <laughs> and so we had a spiritual sandwich. We just 
Այսպես հոգևոր սենդվիչ էինք սարկել։ She had nowhere to go. Նա չի գիտեր, թե ուր գնա։ The fly was full. Ինքնաթիրը լեծ ուներ տեղ չկար պահնելու։ But in the end, she was tearing up and crying. Բայց վերջում նա արդեն ուղակի լաս է լինում։ Thanking God for that moment. Շնորակալությունը � որ աստված է ծրագրել այդ ճանապարդությունը նրա համար։ Ունա ասեց, որ դու և կո հայրը պատահականություն չեք։ Մենք հոգնած ենք, բայց եվ որ հասանք յուրանոց, մենք հասկացանք մի կուծ է այդ մի անձի համար, այդ աղջկա մանուշի համար, ամեն Այս ամբողջ ճանապարդությունը արժեր։ Ինչքա, ովքեր գիտեն, որ աստված կարող է տաս բան մի անգամից իրար հետևից կատարել։ Ես նրան խոսք տվեցի։ Եվ մենք հիմա նրա համար կաղոթենք։ Կարող ենք աս ժամանակը վերսնել կանգնել մեր ոտքերի վրա ու աղոթենք այդ աղջկա անտանիքի համար։ Նա իր եղբորը կորցրել է պատերազմի ժամանակ։ Շատերը տեկ տեղյակ։ Ինչպիսի ծավ է դա։ Եվ նրա մայրը այնքան մեծ ծավի մեջ է։ And she said she might watch it online or she might even come to church. Let's just pick up our hands right now and pray for her. Lord, I lift up Manush before you, Lord. And as a church body, Lord. We pray that you'd continue to minister to her. Lord, we thank you that she experienced your presence. Ես շնորակալ եմ, որ նա վերապրեց քո ներկայությունը։ Եվ մենք աղոթում ենք, որ դու հաստատես հավատքը նրա ներսում։ Եվ նա տնգված լինի եկեղեցուն ներսում։ Okay, my sermon won't be long, I promise. The title of my message is You Must Be Important. Subtitle Power of Your Testimony. Let's open up the scripture, Mark chapter 5. We're going to read for a little bit. And we'll switch on between chapter 5 and 4 and we'll come back to 5. Okay. They went across the lake to the region of Gerasenes. When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came out from the tombs to meet him. Real quick. Okay. Would you, um, let's, um. Do you want me to read to 7th then? Yeah, I'll read it to 7th. I'll have you kill it. Okay, cool. <laughs> it sounds good. This man lived in the tombs, and no one could bind him anymore, not even with a chain, for he had often been chained hand and foot. But he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? In God's name, don't torture me. In God's name, don't torture me. Եվ եկանց ովի մոտ այն կողմը գադարացիների երկիրը։ Եվ եվ որ նավիցը Հիսուսը դուրս եկավ, նրայն իսկույն պատահեց գերեզմաններիցը մի մարդ, պիղծ ոգով, որի բնակությունը գերեզմաններում էր։ Եվ ոչ ոչ շխթաներով � բայց եվ որ հերվանց Հիսուսին տեսավ, 
վազեց նրան երկրպագություն արեց եւ մեծ ձայնով աղակելով ասաց քեզ ինչ բերեց քեզ ինչ բանկ ա ինձ հետ հիսուս բարձրյալ աստծո որդի աստծո երթուվ եմ տալիս քեզ մի տանջիր ինձ Our first response to God will often be fear առաջի պատասխանը աստծուն when he shows up in our life շատ հաճախ վախն է երբ որ նա հայտնվում է մեր կյանքում երբ որ աստված մեծ զորությամբ գալիս է մեր կյանք There will be something within us մեր ներսում կամ ի բան that will resist that authority որը որ հակառակվի այդ իշխանությունը because it goes against our human nature որովհետև դա գնում է մեր մարդկային էությանը հակառակ to be in the presence of the one that is greater than us որպիսի լինենք ինչ որ մեկի ներկայության մեջ որը որ մեզանից շատ ավելի մեծ է and it often causes conflict and major shift in our life եւ շատ հաճախ մեր ներսում մեծ կոնֆլիկտի ու այսպես ուրիշ բանի է բերում okay i'm going to go ahead and read from verse 8 to the 17 Եվ քշանակ են կարդալ 8-ից 17-րդ խոսքերը։ For Jesus had said to him, "Come out of this man, you impure spirit." Then Jesus asked him, "What is your name?" "My name is Legion," he replied, "for we are many." And he begged Jesus again and again not to send them out of the area. A large herd of pigs was feeding on the nearby hillside. The demons begged Jesus, "Send us among the pigs. Allow us to go into them." He gave them permission, and the impure spirits came out. and went into the pigs they heard about 2000 in number rushed down the steep bank into the lake and were drowned those tending the pigs ran off and reported this to town and countryside and people went out to see what had happened when they came to Jesus they saw the man who had been possessed by a legion of demons sitting there dressed in his right mind and they were afraid Those who had seen it told the people what had happened to the demon possessed man and told about the pigs as well. Then the people begged began to plead with Jesus to leave the region. Uterort khoskits vorov hetev assum er neran durs yek pigts voki ait martitsa yev hartsrets neran anunat inch e yev na patasxanets yev asets legeon e im anuna vorov hetev menk shat enk yev shat agachum ein neran vor irants ein ashkharkitsa durs chugharke yev aintegh sari mot khozeri mi mets yeramak kar vor aratsum er yev bolor dever e neran agachetsin yev asetsin ugharkir mets ein khozeri mets yev nerants mets mtnenk yev hisus hraman tvav yev nerants shutov yev mi pigts yev pigts vokinere durs yek an khozeri mets մտան եւ երամակն այն գահավեշ տեղից ծովի մեջ վազեց եւ երկու հազարի չափ էին եւ ծովումը խեղթվում էին եւ խոզարացները փախան եւ քաղաքումը եւ արտերումը պատմեցին եւ դուրս եկան տեսնելու թե ինչ է այդ եղածը եւ հիսուսի մոտ եկան եւ դիվահարին տեսան նստած հակված եւ խելքը գլուխը եկած եւ նա որ լեգեոն էր ունեցել եւ վախեցան եւ տեսնողները պատմեցին նրանց թե ինչ եղավ այն դիվահարին եւ խոզերի մասին եւ սկսեցին աղաչել նրանց որ իրանց սահմանների it's a durs gna i think i'm beginning to understand armenian language instvume yes ksumem hayrena haskanal you know it's one spirit nuin hokine if i would stay here for one more week i'd probably start understanding yete mi shapatel manam aistegh erevite ksksem haskanal arten but what we just read right here but inch kartatsink aistegh so jesus is obviously moving to the region outside of the jewish area hisus a tegapokhvum e heriastanis durs cuz we're dealing with pigs որովհետև խոզերի մասին է խոսում 2000 in number 2000 թվով and pigs represented the value համար այդ 2000 խոսը ինչ որ արժեք էին ներկայացնում so what does the enemy attack եւ ինչի վրա է հակառակորդը հարցակվում whatever you value the most այն ամենի ինչին դու ամենամեծ արժեքն ես տալիս it is why he'll use people to get to your relationship with god Այդ է պատճառը որ աստված մարդկանց է օգտագործում որ The most valuable thing եւ ամենա թանկարժեք բանը is our relationship with God. Աստո հետ փոխարաբերություններն են։ He knows if he can get people to offend you, նա գիտի որ եթե նրան հաջողվի մարդկանց միջոցով քեզ վիրավորել, you will do what these people did. դու կանես այն ինչ որ այս մարդի կարեցին։ You will send Jesus away. դու հիսուսին հետ կուղարկես։ I want to uh, go back to the previous chapter for a moment. Ես ուզում եմ նախորդ գլուխը գնալ մեկ վարկյանով։ I want to talk about the storm that has happened before this miracle happened. Ես ուզում եմ խոսել այն փոթորկի մասին, որը որ տեղի էր ունեցել այս հրաշքից առաջ։ Mark chapter 4 verse 35. Մարկոս 4-րդ գլուխ 35-րդ խոսքը։ That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, "Let us go over to the other side," leaving the crowd behind. 
Եվ այն օրը եւ որ իր իկուն էր լինում նրանց ասեց եկեք անցնենք այն կողմը եւ ժողովուրդը թողեցին So Jesus is leaving the comfort zone I think when Jesus is harmaraved by the bats, he's moving into the enemy territory. Na genume depi ha karakorti vaire. Like perhaps some of you are doing right now. Mi kutse zezani chatere tai tira vijaku me. You're moving forward into the things of God. Duk sharjvu me depi asto kamke. Perhaps you're changing the circle of friends. Mi kutse pochu me zeren kera kan sharja pata. You're changing your values. Mi kutse pochu me zer arjeknere. And you begin to prioritize the presence of God. Watch this in verse 37, next verse. A furious squall came up suddenly, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. But let me warn you. When you make God your priority, the enemy will always, almost always send a storm. You never cross over to the promises of God without a conflict from the enemy. I mean, did you think you would expect you to leave Egypt just like that? Leaving your past behind and not to send chariots after you? I mean, you've been serving Satan for 42 years, so let's say. Some people came to the Lord at different years. And the moment you start serving the Lord, he'll use everything to send a storm your way. And a lot of times it even happens in families. In Muslim countries, where my dad served, a number one a persecution came from uh, family members. You might be aware of the Sharia law. So, devil will attack you. He'll send a storm to stop you to move into the promises of God. As a matter of fact, I want to remind you the reason why the storms are raging might be because you're crossing into the calling that is on your life that God wanted you to be there. I know you, you're important because of your storm. I know you, you're important because of the storm. The size of the storm tells me the importance of your assignment. And the devil doesn't start a storm for somebody he's not threatened by. He attacks what has value. The same idea, a thief will not break into the house that is empty. Let's look at verse 38. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. Եվ ինքը Հիսուսը այսինքը նավի հետևի կողմը բարձի վրա քնած էր եւ նրանց զարթնացնում են եւ ասում են նրան վարթապետ հոգը չէ որ կորչում ենք եւ նա զարթնելով քամին սաստեց եւ ասեց ծովին լրիր պապանձվիր եւ քամին դաթարեց եւ մեծ խաղաղություն եղավ Have you ever thought about how many things the devil did uh, or the enemy did early in your life to stop you from having a relationship with God. Now remember, this is chapter 4. This man hasn't seen Jesus yet. Yet there's already a storm sent. 
Derchi tesel Jesusim, but Artenisk Potorika. To the Sea of Galilee to keep Jesus away from coming to this man. For busy Jesusin Kangnatsni, Vorchehasni at Martun. And the same demonic spirit that was within that man, Yev Hens at Nuin Hokim, Vorat Martu Mecher, was in that storm. At Potorki Mecher Nimpes. Trying to stop Jesus from getting to him. Portsumet Kangnatsnel Jesusin. I know you're thinking, Vic, how, how do you know, right? The devil started this storm. Maybe it's climate change. <laughs> I guess global warming. Global <laughs> Well, let me tell you something. Jesus rebuked the wind and the waves. Jesus does not rebuke natural elements. He rebukes demons. So, you were on the devil's hit list before you were even born. There were things happening in your family line. In your generations. That were designed to stop you. From having a relationship with God. For you to be sitting in the church at this moment right now. You must be important to God. Turn to your neighbor and say, you must be important. Say it with confidence. Don't say, you must be important. You are important despite of all the storms in your life despite all the hurricanes and buckets full of water here you are sitting in the church taking notes praising God believing for another day you are important if you feel important, give a shout to God right now. Thank you, Lord. All right, let's get back to Mark 5. Uh, I'm landing the plane. And I love this part. So Mark uh, chapter 5, verse 18. As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had been demon possessed begged to go with him. He's like, Jesus, you can't leave me with these people here. <laughs> Not after what happened with the pigs. <laughs> that was all their living. And, uh, Porkfolio. <laughs> In English it works because pork. Uh, it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the demons are like, you know, don't make us leave. We got to contrast it. Uh, so the demons are like, don't make us leave. And this man is like, don't make me stay. So this man is now in his right mind, as the scripture says. Fully clothed. <laughs> and all of a sudden, <laughs> people are shocked. Well, of course, as if they got used to seeing him naked. Uh, and I'm assuming how this conversation went between him and Jesus. Yes, It's like Jesus, take me with you. I can't do this anymore. Yes, I So look at Mark 9, uh, 5:19, next verse, right? Jesus did not let him, but said, Go home to your own people. And tell them how much the Lord has done for you, and now and how He has had mercy on you. Եվ տասնիներորդ խոսքում գրված է, բայց Հիսուսը թույլ չտվեց նրան, այլ ասեց նրան, գնաք հոտունը քո ընտանիքի մոտ եւ նրանց պատմիր թե տերը ինչ բաներ առավ քեզ եւ քեզ ողորմեց։ I'm not taking you out of it. I took it out of you. 
changed your condition. Yes, but I'm going to leave you in your circumstances. I want you to go back to the area of influence. To the people that know you. Because some of you might be in a tough place right now. And you have every right to be discouraged. And you've experienced so much pain. And maybe you want to say like this man and says, Jesus, please take me with you. But God knows how impactful you can be where you're at. Because look what happens in verse 20. So the men went away and began to tell the, to, in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And all the people were amazed. Եվ <speaking in foreign language> That's amazing. His testimony reaches 10 different cities. And in fact, as we read chapters on, you see people are bringing different people from different areas. I love this about God. Because what God selects, men reject. He uses the weak things of this world to, to confine the wise. I mean, you've heard that yesterday, golden generation. My dad is like, I'm ready to die any second. <laughs> By the way, as young people, it's kind of crazy to hear that, right? <laughs> but he speaks so comfortable about death. <laughs> but I want to reassure, it doesn't matter what age you are, whether you're a young kid who's in elementary or if you are over 75 years old or if you're 90 years old. If you're not dead, God's not done. Live by that phrase. I don't know why, but for the longest times I was uh, scared to fly airplanes. Airplanes. I, I was not really excited to fly airplanes. And to help with that, I would watch documentary movies on airplane crashes. Yes, documental film I don't know, it's a bad combination. But then it hit me. The Lord said, if you're still alive, I'm not done with you. That was it. I want to set somebody free today that is worried about tomorrow. Remember this today. If you don't get anything else out of the sermon, but if you get this, if I'm not dead, God's not done. Man. Now, if Jesus, come on, amen. Now, if Jesus went across the, I mean, across the Sea of Galilee through the storm, and he went to the cross for you and me, how valuable must you be to God? Your story matters. The devil knows that. You know how he knows that? I mean, he'll do everything for you to keep your mouth shut about God. He knows 
devil knows Satanan giti how impactful your testimony is Inch kan mets azdetsutsun karogh e unenal kho vkayutsune You know you're thinking my story is not a big deal Du matatsum es dein patmutsune ait kan el ten zarmanali mi ban chi What do I have to say Inch unem aselu But God doesn't think that Bats astvats aitpes chi matatsum You know why Gites inchi I'm going to relieve you with this powerful scripture Yes uhaki kazatagrem kez ais zarmanali khoskov It's something that I live by nowadays Mi khosk vorov vor yes aprum em Revelation 12:11 Haytnutsun 12:11 This is why I know you're important Այս է պատճառը որ ես գիտեմ որ դու կարևոր ես։ This is why I know I'm important to God too. Սա է պատճառը որ ես գիտեմ որ ես կարևոր եմ Աստծո համար։ And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to death. Եվ նրանք հաղթեցին նրան գարան արյունով եւ իրանց վկայության խոսքով եւ չսիրեցին իրենց հոգին մինչև իմա։ Surrender that little story that you have to him. Այդ փոքր պատմությունը որ դու ունես հանձնիր Աստուն։ Even if your testimony feels like something little. Ե նույնիսկ եթե քո վկայությունը քես համար թվում է ինչ որ մի փոքր բան, like seven loaves and two fishes. Ինչպես այդ յոթը հացը եւ երկու ձուկն էին։ Հիսուս ուզում է դա։ And if you're able to surrender that into his capable hands. Եվ եթե դու ունակ ես այդ ամենը հանձնելու Հիսուսի կարող ձեռքերի մեջ, that little bit can turn into thousands and it can feed a thousand. Այդ մի փոքր վկայությունը կարող է հրաշք դառնալ եւ հազարների կերակրել։ Your testimony matters, church. Քո վկայությունը կարևոր է եկեղեցի։ Son, little boy, your story matters. Մի փոքր տղա, քո վկայությունը կարևոր է։ Middle-aged person, businessman. Businessman, միջին հասակի մարդ, քո վկայությունը կարևոր է։ Ովել լինես։ Your story matters. Քո վկայությունը կարևոր է։ If you have accepted the love of God in your life, եթե դու աստծոսեր ընդունել ես քո կյանքի մեջ, you have something to tell. Արդեն իսկ ունես ինչ որ մի բան պատմելու։ There's a power in your testimony. Կա զորություն քո վկայության մեջ։ There's a power in your story. Worship team can come up. Երկրպագության թիմը կարող է բարձանալ։ You are more than conqueror in Christ. դու ավելին ես քան դու մտածում ես Հիսուսի մեջ։ I don't know how many people need to hear that today but we reassured. Ես չգիտեմ քանի հոգի դրա կարիք ունեն լսելու, բայց ուզում եմ նորից կրկնել։ How you are important to God. Ինչքան կարևոր ես դու Աստծո համար։ You know the Lord compares the kingdom of heaven to the mustard seed. Գիտեք Հիսուսը համեմատում է երկնքի արքայությունը մանանեխի հատիկի հետ։ In that same chapter, եւ նույն գլխի մեջ He's bringing that as an example. Na berum eta vorpes orinak. He uses something so small. Na vertsnum e mi ban vor chapazans poker e. Like a mustard seed. Mananekhi hatike. To explain something so huge like kingdom of God. Batsatrelu hamar mi zarmanali mets ban vor e vor yerknayin arkayutsunun e. But that's what the kingdom of God is like. Hence ait pisin e yerknayin arkayutsunun e. It starts something like so small. Դասկսում է մի փոքր բանից։ Seems so insignificant. Ինչ որ մի աննշան բանից։ But God builds kingdom of God like that. Բայց Աստված կառուցում է իր արքայությունը հենց այդպես։ Your little story matters. Քո փոքր պատմությունը կարևոր է։ You are important to God. Դու կարևոր ես Աստծո համար։ If you have not felt important, եթե դու չես մտածել որ դու կարևոր ես։ Run to the throne of God. Ես ուզում եմ որ դու առաջ վազես։ Աստծո գահի առաջ, ուղակի առաջ բեմի առաջ։ If you want to recommit your life to Christ, take this opportunity, come to the throne of God. Եթե դու ուզում ես քո կյանքը վերահանձնել Աստծուն, ուղակի ես օգտագործիր ես հնարավորությունը առաջ գալով։ He sees so much value in you. Նա տեսնում է այնքան մեծ արժեք քո մեջ։ People were writing off this man who was demon possessed. Մարտիկ պատմում էին այդ մարդու մասին, ով դիվահար էր։ But Jesus is like I see something in him. But Jesus has said, "Yes, this is not my carevor ban ramage." He sees so much potential in you. Now I can't meet potential that is not cooked and he made. Stand to our feet. Yeke kang nek mer vod keri ara. And as the team is worshiping, please come forward right now. Yev ye for yer ker pagutsu ne yer kume khantru me ma ar e araj vor agoten ko hamas. We want you to be established in the Lord. Ես ուզում եմ որ դուք վերա հաստատվեք Աստծո մեջ։ So you can kill and continue to be impactful. Որ պիսի շարունակեք ազդեցիկ կյանք ունենալ։ 